So we're just going through looking at our hives, kind of checking everybody out. And anytime we find one that's doing kind of less honey production than the rest of the colony, we're just kind of taking a deep dive and seeing if there's anything wrong with them. Doesn't mean there is, but could mean that they've swarmed and we didn't catch it. Could be that maybe the queen's gone, you know, she, this hive's gone queenless, I'm not sure. But you can see they haven't touched their bottom box and they've only filled up about half of this first box. And most everybody's filled up two boxes of honey for us. So I just want to take a closer look and make sure that there's not something going on here that we're missing. Now I will say they've been working hard because that is a complete deep frame of honey. That's got some weight to it. I'm just going to kind of set it right here for right now. Give us a little room to work. We'll just go straight to the middle. And if we still see that there's no brood in the middle, we'll have to move to the bottom box. But I'm hoping we'll find what we're looking for. Just to know that we've got a good healthy hive here in this box. You can see an open spot and there is some brood here. You can see right through here. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it as well. It's kind of overcast and cloudy today, but there's eggs. There's one egg to each cell. Looks like a pretty good pattern. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Let's take a look at the next frame over. See if it tells us anything else. This queen was a late queen from last year that we grafted. So she's not too old or shouldn't be too old yet. Yeah, that's full of eggs. You can see bees hatching. So they look healthy. There's a brand new bee right there. It's kind of fuzzy. It's got good wings. There's no deformed wing virus. I think maybe, I am kind of curious if with as much honey as in this second box, if it's possible that maybe they did swarm on us and I didn't catch it. And uh, they're just now kind of building back up. Because again, there's a lot, there's a lot of honey in this box. If I knew for sure if these were some new frames or not, I think I'd extract from these deep boxes, but I actually think these are older frames. They look like the ones I built and the ones we used this year came pre-assembled from Premier. So I don't think that any of these are comb that I could use. I treat with Thymol or Apigard but I still don't know about having that old treated comb in my honey supers. They're filling that up. They're doing good. At the very least, what I do know is they got plenty of comb and honey for the winter. These, these bees aren't gonna need a lot of attention other than treat them for mites. We'll start hammering those out pretty soon. Oh goodness. And there's a really nice frame. That's kind of what we were looking for. So we got a pretty good pattern there. I can see where she's laying up good. They're just getting ready for winter. That's all it is. So nothing to worry about. We're gonna keep looking, see if we find anything else interesting. Thank y'all.